Welcome to Lawn Rush. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys our 2022 snow plowing setup. Now, this is one of our trucks. Uh, we've got an F450 and we also have an F250. This is our 2019 F250. Uh, I recently did a video talking about building redundancies in our business and we have a Fisher XLS on our 250 as well as a Fisher XLS on our 450. So, Anyway, on today's video, I want to do a walk around of our 2019 F-250. This is our setup here for 2019. I just spray waxed this truck. So what I do in the wintertime, instead of just washing these trucks constantly, I don't really wash them. I just spray wax on them. So that's why the front end looks like it's covered in ice. The wax sometimes will freeze up and it eventually will melt and look clean, but you know, being that it's so cold outside, it's sometimes hard to uh, have it look really finished. But here's our setup, a Fisher XLS 8 to 10 foot plow. Um, we have on the truck uh, flashers here down low on the running boards. They do light up pretty bright at night. For our flashers, we have a button. Now, this truck was not equipped with upfitter switches from the factory for some reason. I don't know why it didn't come with upfitter switches, but we installed a couple buttons here that will illuminate the flashers. Uh, pretty cool. And they do throw a good amount of light off at night. We also have a back rack here on the truck. Uh, we had, This is our latest addition uh, to the truck. Um, we actually picked this up from realtruck.com super fast shipping really easy uh company to deal with uh so that's a new addition it's super easy to install check out these bolts here they come with these real they come with this real nice hardware that just fits with the truck and it isolates the dissimilar metals the aluminum is isolated from this from the steel very very cool setup for tires on our on our truck we're doing Wrangler Dura tracks very impressed with the performance of these tires so far uh these are 33s i did order 35s but they when i when i got home i'm looking at it like those don't look like 35s sure enough they were 33s but you know what the 33s still look really good and i was gonna make a big fuss about it but once i put the plow on the truck and realized that it was kind of the 35s would have kind of changed some some of the angles and stuff with with the uh, plow would have had to make some adjustments I'm actually pointing down just a little bit I think a new cutting edge would really set this thing back to where it should be but going with the 30 going with the 35s would have probably not been as efficient so we do have Duratrack 33s I believe these front tires came off of like a ram the tread pattern looks a little bit different from the rears uh, and the rear tires are actually brand new Wrangler Duratrack so got a little bit of a deal by getting some by getting two of the tires being an OEM takeoff and I think that's how I ended up with the 33s being that they had these uh, 33s off of a ram and I think ram comes with 33s but like I was saying with the spray wax if you look close this wax is like in the water and it freezes up sometimes but when you spray wax your truck this is just a wax at the car wash it looks kind of like milk is coming out of the gun and when you feel the paint you can feel the wax left over on the paint so i always just spray wax my trucks instead of constantly washing them and they end up looking clean at the end of the day i know it's not as good as getting the brush out as far as aesthetics but it's not really necessarily done for the aesthetics it's actually done just for the anti-corrosive uh, aspect of the spray wax for our salt spreader we got a one yard salt dog we also have a camera here on the bed or the back side of the salt dog this is the oem camera inside of housing you can find this at camera source it actually plugs into the camera outlet where the factory camera would go and i do believe camera source has cameras for all different late model trucks whether it's a dodge or a chevy truck but definitely have them they definitely have them for fords uh so yeah one yard salt spreader one yard salt dog for our protection we have a bed mat pulled out and just hanging underneath and where our salt spreader is actually sitting on the bed mat and the reason I like doing that is because it gives you full protection over the bumper over the whole rear salt's not going to be sliding up in between here and getting in here it keeps everything out 
and it also allows the spreader to entirely sit on top of the mat like the whole spreader is positioned on top of this entire mat so it's like rubber it's a rubber mat so it kind of adds that little bit of traction once everything gets ratcheted down and like i said protection guys the salt's not getting under the truck it's not tearing up your hitch and your rear steel frame and all that stuff um now if you don't know think about ford you know they went all aluminum with the super duties back in 2017 and i have to say i am impressed with the aluminum body forwards they are not rusting corroding the frames the uh powder coat that they put on the frames is really good they're holding up really good this this truck's been uh in service now plowing snow for three years salting for for that whole time and when you look underneath the frame still looks pretty dang good it's not i mean if you really get in there you might see some rust on some of the welds but it's holding up pretty good these this generation of trucks is uh really gonna hold up and this truck wasn't fluid fl fluid filmed or anything uh now on some of the steel parts you can see what the truck's kind of been through when you look at that yoke right there you can kind of see yeah it's been through some stuff but other than that you look underneath this truck and there's still a lot of life left in this truck there's still another 20 years easily left in this frame of the truck so i'm definitely impressed there with the fords one of the things I think will be an issue down the road is the exhaust manifolds, like I said, with all the salt. And if I could go back in time, I would have kind of protected these a little bit better. But we really look in there, if we can see that, look how bad the exhaust manifolds have gotten. Uh, it's going to be a problem uh, for somebody, maybe for me, if I continue to keep this truck. That's the one thing that I think is going to be a big uh cost for me is with these trucks that's probably the one kind is the exhaust manifolds they just i don't know what you can do to get around that you really can't lubricate you really can't paint them you really can't fluid film them because they do get really hot so that's one of those things i think the only thing that could be done to protect the exhaust manifolds a little bit better is to somehow keep the water from getting in there and the water with the road uh, the road water hitting puddles and things like that they just get bombarded with water and then when you're spraying off your truck if the engine's running you've got water going up in there and they're always getting shocked so far I mean they're not cracked or they're not making noise or anything but I'm kind of wondering how long those are gonna last I think that's gonna be the first big cost for me with the truck is the exhaust manifolds um, this is a 10,000 pound gross vehicle weight rated truck um, with the spreader and the and the plow. I can get about a half a yard of salt and with the plow I'll be right there at the 10,000. Although if I were to get the full yard of salt and have the plow, I might go overweight a little bit, but the truck has no issues handling that amount of weight. If you know anything about Super Duties, you know you could probably get away with putting a lot more than what it's rated for. But this is a 10,000 pound rated truck. Now, when you look at the 11,000 pound or the higher payload trucks, there's not a whole lot of difference. They might have like an overload spring or something in the rear, maybe a rear sway bar. But then again, guys, not a whole lot of difference on those higher rated trucks. Uh, so as far as modifications go, like I said, salt spreader, we've got our button inside for our lights. We've got, oh, one thing I did big this year is I put window tents around the entire truck. So this is an XL truck and the window tents, there's none. It's all clear. All of the windows are clear. So the windshield, I've tinted the windshield. It makes it look a lot better, guys. It really does make the truck a lot more pleasurable to drive just having everything tinted out just makes it it makes it so much more luxurious so windshield and me and an XL we had to tint all of them we had to tint the back and we had to tint our back window so it really takes a lot of the heat out of the truck and just makes it extremely comfortable to drive um, so I think we've pretty much covered it. This is our setup. It's our 2019 F-250. Great truck, guys. The Fords are good. This is an old 6.2. It's not the big 7.3 and nothing crazy like that. But, guys, this is Lawn Rush. Thank you for watching. My name is Sean. See you guys in the next one. Over and out.